Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me a couple of photographs and asked how they could create this in Corel Draw, and they're actually going to cut out of some MDF. Pretty cool idea, but this is going to kind of tell whether you're an artist or not, in which I am not. There's really no quick, simple way. I've, I've done like five steps, and you can see I colored them different. So when you draw this, almost like drawing that 3D uh, layered art, um, you're starting with this uh, the back layer and working forward. So I drew the first layer in black, colored it gray, 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 lighter gray to white, and even stepped in this, and stepped in this, not as, so I'm kind of trying to mimic this one. Whoever did this is really an artist. Um, don't know what the backside looks like. I don't know if this keeps wrapping around. And there's a lot of ways it can be done and you can just kind of see the lines, but the only one I can kind of pick right off the bat is uh, just make a shape like this, kind of the shape of this. And this is a little bit different, this feet a little bit. Kind of hard to tell in some of the pictures what it actually looks like. Or I think the boards stay the same. So I don't know if this is gonna to be too much help. But I'd set your nudge factor on a certain amount we're gonna add a couple of nodes. And then I'm gonna select all these top nodes and turn them into a curve. And then just use your nudge distance and your shape tool. And let's nudge this one in twice, one, two. Let's nudge this side in, side in once. Let's nudge these two, one, two. Okay, control D and make a duplicate. Just move it down. It's the exact copy of that, and now we just need to change a little bit. We nudge these twice, one, two. We nudge this once, one. We nudge these twice, one, two. Control D and make a duplicate. Now you cannot make a bunch of duplicates of the first one, because then you would have to do like four movements, one, two, one. I'm just doing that so it'll look a little bit different. One, two, control D, just move it. It doesn't matter, you don't have to be moving down any particular order. One, two, and you could, you know, I'm not doing any special curve. I'm kind of doing it on the top, one, two, control D. Whoop. Shape tool, one, two, one, one, two. We're gonna do just one more, so you can kind of get the idea. And then maybe at some point, uh, you're gonna have to back some of them back out. So it kind of looks like, I, I really don't know how they did these. Um, you know, you could start raising this in. So I'm, I'm just, I'm doing a very simple one. I mean, they raised the middle and then lowered it. But you gotta remember you're working from here back or from here back. So it's not that hard. You would just have to raise one node and lower another node and then get to a six or seven and then go down and then come back up on this last six or seven. So we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna stack them together which you wouldn't really have to if you're making this, one, two, but I would cut them out and see what it looks like. And you know what, for the video, I'm gonna make one more because of the fact that you might be able to tell a little bit more about it when I color it. Nudge, one, two. And see, I've got straight lines. You'd wanna do curved lines, whoop. And one, two. Now, they're basically the same shape so we can put them in the middle but we're gonna color them different colors. I'm gonna make this one, I think that's the very last one. I'm gonna make it yellow. I'm gonna change my 
deal to a light blue. I'm going to change my, my color to a green. And I'm just picking colors at random. It doesn't really matter. Probably could have done all blues. And then when we stack them together, you'll be able to actually see the movement. Let's make that last one the red or orange. Now I start in the center of the page, so I'm just going to select all these and hit P. And there's your movement. There's your slope. Um, it's a pretty cool plan. It would take up quite a bit of wood, but you've always got to think about Let's undo them in this particular one right here. After you get them all cut, you'd almost need to, I guess you wouldn't have to number them because you could dry stack them together before you glue them. And just think about this is the way they're going to look in the file. So just, you know, get that second one and mirror it. Whoop, I didn't make a duplicate. Control D and make a duplicate of it and then mirror that one and run your cut file like that so you're not wasting so much wood. And then just keep doing that down the road. Save a little bit of space. And uh, you're still gonna waste some wood, but uh, like 50% of what you would. So that's a pretty cool, well, my explanation is pretty simple. I, uh, whoop. Let's put them in the center page one more time. And like I said, I would, you know, start curving them in. Hit P, put the center of the page. And I would add, I'd have some curves to the legs, you know, so they wouldn't just be straight down. But this is where you're going to find out if you're an artist. And I'm really not. But you can see they just took nodes and raised them up. And at the same time, they lowered them down quite a bit. I might make a second video and, and see how drastic and what that would really look like. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.